Hello and welcome back to Simple Truths. I am your host, the Crazy Uncle. Today we're going over our next video, and as you can see, we're going to be talking about weight loss. Now that is a touchy subject for a few people because one, they don't know how to lose weight without going through a little bit of pain. There is no way to do that. I'm going to sit, just tell you that that is the number one simple truth. You're going to feel a little bit of pain, but I'm going to break it down real fast and show you the simple truth of how to lose weight, to figure it out. Because everyone is just a little bit different. All right, We're all basically the same, but no one diet plan is going to work for everybody, no matter what Nutra whatever's say. It's different for everybody. Now, there are some universals, though. The universal pieces. I want to make that perfectly clear. Now, one of the main things with weight loss is calories. Calories in and calories out. Okay? I put exercise over there in red for a specific reason. Depending on what exercise you are doing throughout the day, we'll decide how many calories are coming out. You are deciding what calories are going in. You decide. No one's holding you down and shoving that double, triple bacon cheeseburger with a side of gravy fries down your throat and up your ass. You decide what calories, how many go in you. So don't blame anybody else. As far as the exercise go, that is dependent on someone or on someone's personal goals in life. And if you want, check out my other channel, Back to Basics, where I go into that. Now, understand that when you calculate the type of calories going out, when you exercise, you must understand the different types. Again, go to my other channel. You can check that out. I touch on it, but there are other fitness channels that have a plethora of information. I do recommend that you go through. Just be aware of information overload. One of the easiest ways, though, to get rid of calories is cardio. All right, this is aerobic exercises like running, swimming, uh, cross-country skiing, kind of like the elliptical. If you go to the gym, if you bother to go to the gym, that's what's there. The number one exercise, actually, that's always number one is sex. But that's because your body goes through a lot when that happens. Uh, it's seriously a lot. It's actually males burn about four times more calories than females during that. Which, guys, means get on your girlfriends more if you want to lose weight. I saw that. Some of you girls act or ladies actually were smiling. Now, when you're calculating calories intake, it, you have to go into a, a couple of simple factors. One, the mass, which means the amount. How much of what you're putting in. Now, if you like a burger, get a, a burger, not a freaking burger, okay? And boom, you've just cut down your intake. Again, you're deciding how many calories go in you. You're gonna have to close down the amount of food that you eat, okay? Fair warning, you're going to get some hunger pains from this, and I'm gonna go over at the end how to get rid of those. Or how to stop them from taking over okay with the type of food you need to focus on your nutrition level your nutrition level is very simple are you eating fast food are you cooking for yourself are you going to a restaurant that actually cooks real food instead of some prepackaged crap here in the United States we tend to eat a lot of junk as for somebody who's actually been over to Europe and lived there for a few years I can tell you they have their own fast food or versions of it but the quality is so far superior it will actually scare you I'm not even kidding something as simple as changing from pre-shredded petroleum that you put on your pizza to actually getting a block of mozzarella and actually shredding it yourself and putting it on will make a massive difference not only in nutrition but in taste and everybody wants their food to taste good now I'm ranting, so I'm going to go back. Your nutrition level of the food is unbelievably important. For most people, when you actually start taking this seriously, the amount of food you're going to 
in jest is going to extremely diminish and the quality is going to go very high. Okay? The thing is, you're actually going to learn how to cook when you're doing this. A lot of people, oh, I don't know how to cook. Learn. All right? Once you do this, 90% of people, this is all you have to worry about. There are other people that look into drugs. Okay? In particular, diuretics. All right? I can't write sideways. Diuretics are quite literally laxatives, okay? There's, it's very rare to go anywhere about it. Most diuretics make you shit. Coffee itself, the caffeine, is a diuretic. Most of us here in the U.S., again, have a diet so bad, we require a diuretic for our intestines to work right. It's kind of messed up. It's, it's truly messed up. But... If you think, oh, I need to take a diuretic so that my intestines will actually work right, how about you go back to the different type of food that you're eating and eat some whole grains, some bran, whole, whole wheat bread. It's something so simple. Keep that in mind. If you do decide to take this route with the drugs, I do recommend you get a hold of some sort of nutritionist or some sort of doctor before you take any of this. It is very common for people who start their regiments and they pound down a whole bunch of drugs to think, oh, I'm going to shed weight real quick. Well, enjoy the ambulance ride and the three days in the hospital, dumbass. Okay, don't, don't get caught up in that shit. Now, there is about a 1% to 2% where it's an actual medical condition. This is the ones where your thyroid, the piece in your neck, is screwed up. For those of you out there... There's drugs for that. I'm going to say that one again. There's drugs for that. They can't rip your thyroid out as far as I know. And you immediately lose weight. But believe it or not, a lot of people with that condition can be can deal with it either through pills or actual surgery. What the doc does when they're in there, I I don't know. I'm not a surgeon. But they're able to fix that. There's also people who do sort of gastric bypass and things like that. Those are extreme cases. If your first thought is to jump down here, you're a fucking idiot. Straight up, you're a moron. If that's your first thought, I need surgery, not only are you an idiot, but you're a lazy bastard too. Just, there... Only the people where a doc says specifically, where you don't even ask, hey, this is your test results, we need to do this. That's the only ones who should be in this area at all. Now, for everybody above, the easiest way, the easy, absolute easiest way, I've done this myself, and I lost like 15 pounds in less than a week, is something called the water diet. Okay? Good old-fashioned water, people. Good old-fashioned water. The idea is this. You want to put about a gallon of water into you a day. This has two reasons. One, it's going to stop those hunger pains I was telling you about. It's an old camper's trick for those who don't have enough food on hand. You put the water in you over, over throughout the entire day. No, you're not going to put a gallon of water in you at once. That's just insane. But you can put... That water down you throughout the day. Yes, it can be done. Don't tell me it can't. And one, it'll keep the hunger pains at bay. Two, you're not going to need to eat as much because you're going to feel fuller faster. Three, you're going to be more hydrated. And you know what's one of the major things that happens when you're more hydrated? Your skin heals faster. It looks a lot better. It's amazing how many people who sit there and down a shit ton of sugary drinks don't realize that their skin is breaking out or having all sorts of problems because of all the crap you're putting in your system. You want to deal with the weight? Start drinking water. Lots of it. That doesn't mean you can't put some lemon or something in it. 
Just stay away from the, from the synthetic freaking, I'm going to mix it up with Kool-Aid. Or any type of flavoring like that. Now, that's the simple truth. It may not seem very simple, but in truth it is. Because almost all of you are going to stay above this line. You're going to adjust your calories. You're going to increase the amount of cardio you do or any exercise that you do. You're going to limit the amount of what you eat. And you're going to make sure you're eating better. This will make you lose weight. It is guaranteed. Those that it, The only ones it doesn't work on are down in this area. Okay, You need to talk to a doc. And by the way, if you go down to my comments, say, I tried the water diet for a week and it didn't work. I guarantee either A, you're one of these medicals, or B, yeah, you're slamming water, but you're going to freaking Mickey D's and Chick-fil-A and, and Burger King and KFC three times, four times a day. Don't bullshit me. I don't have time for bullshit. Because you know why? I'm the crazy uncle. I'm just going to tell you how it is. I'm out.